Uh, if you have either of those, you can use them. If you don't have them, that's why there's two of us, because Sophie's going to be showing the non-weapons version, and I'll be showing the weapons versions of everything. So whatever you've got at home will work out just fine. All right, let's get started. We'll bow in together. All right, let's start off with warm ups. Please stand up. Okay, everybody reach to the ceiling and touch the floor. Back up. Legs wide, bend one knee, straighten one leg. Toes up so you can keep your balance, keep your heel down. And straddle stretch, legs wide. If you want to be extra silly, you can put your head on the mat and then put your head behind your back if you're feeling brave. All right, back up. Feet close together, bend your knees. Circles. Switch. Okay, so the next step we're going to do sumo stomps. So this is a little bit of a challenge for your balance. Uh, it gets you moving your whole body. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go tall like a tree. Nice and wide. Take one hand, go palm up. Come over and pick up one foot. And back down. All right, do it again to the other side. Tall like a tree. Nice and wide. Palm up. Come over. And back down. All right, challenge round. We're going to hold it for five seconds. Tall like a tree. Nice and wide. Palm up. Stretch. Each knee. Sanchi. Go. Boom. Super challenge round. See if you can get your foot higher than your head. Tall like a tree. Nice and wide, palm up, stretch, each knee, some, she, go. All right, good job. Have a seat, we'll do some stretches. So, legs wide, toes pointing up, especially if you've got tight hamstrings, put your hand by your hips, get your spine long. You're going to turn and face one leg, come up and come forward. All right, come over the top. You're going to look up under your arm. And back to the other side. Turn your body to face the other leg. Stretch up and forward. Over the top. Last one. Sit up nice and tall. Make your spine an inch longer. Get super, super long. Take away your hands. See if you can stay along and then come forward from your center. All right, shake them out. Have a seat in Seiza. And then you're going to stretch back to one side. Stretch, stretch, stretch from your fingertips down to your knee. And switch. And forward. Stretch to one side. Other side. Back to the middle, palms up. All right, come back up. So at this point, we always give you challenges. So um, today, we're going to try sit-throughs. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this on the internet, but if you've ever seen a sit-through, if you haven't seen a sit-through, here's what it looks like. I'm going to start with my hands and feet on the ground. For example, I'm going to pick up my left hand and switch so that my right foot comes over. Then I'm going to go back. Now I'm going to pick up my right hand and put my left foot there in the middle 
My belly is facing the ceiling, so I'm going to try to keep my balance there. So everybody, let's come up, hands and feet on the ground. Pick up one hand, reach over. Each. Knee. Some. She. Go. Nope. Teach. Touch. Do. Last one. Do. Awesome. So have a seat back in Seiza. Let's get our bodies warmed up a little more. Neck, look up and down. Next side, this side, and turn. Hands over the head. All right, shoulders. You have a little red dot on your shoulder, you're going to make a circle going backwards. So rotate the shoulders backwards. And forwards. And big circles with your arms. And switch. And we're going to try something challenging. You're going to try and do the best you can. Everybody, you're going to take your hands to them above your head. And here's what you're going to do. Watch me first. I'm going to turn my center. And as I turn my center, one hand goes forward, the other goes backward. And then I rotate again in the middle. My hands come back together at the top. It's a little tricky. Your hands are going in different directions. Let's try it together. So slowly turn your center. One hand goes forward, the other goes back. Bring them back together in the middle. Switch directions. Rotate. Back together. One more. Rotate. All right, challenge round. We're going to do two in a row. So rotate. One, two. Switch directions. One. Two, back again, three, one, two, three, and again, one, two, three, awesome, hands back on your thighs, three breaths in, hold, exhale, All right, we got our body starting to get warmed up, and now I'm going to pass it over to Sophie Sensei, who's going to keep it going with some ukemi practice. Sophie Sensei, take it away. Sit on the floor, tuck one leg under the other, have the other one forward. You're going to do a little back forward. You're going to roll back. When you're in the back, switch your legs. You come up with the other one facing forward. Make sure not to bonk your head. Make sure to keep your hands in front of you or on your knees. Roll. Switch the feet. Come forward. Again. Again. Make sure your spine is nice and round so you don't make a sound on the floor. And then come all the way up to kneeling this time. All the way up to kneeling. And let's go again. All the way up to kneeling. Again. Your hands are just in front of you the whole time. This time, you're going to tuck your back toe and push all the way up to standing. And you're going to get nice and low. You're going to roll back. Come up to kneeling. Tuck that back toe so you have a solid base to go up on and push up to your standing. Let's do 10 of those. All the way down. Roll. Up to kneeling. Tuck the toe up. All the way down. Tuck 
shut that toe on the way up. Nice. Still make sure don't bump your head on the floor when you roll. What was that for? Good. Yep. Here we go. Five. And again. Six. Seven. Eight. All right. Let's do the roll up again. All right. You're going to sit in frog position or butterfly position. You're going to hold your ankles with your hands and you're going to roll all the way over to one side like this. And you're going to come up on the back and hopefully you're facing exactly the opposite way. You're going to do it twice. And that way you're facing the front again. Let's do that. Are you ready? Go. <laughs> Roll like little teacups. Again. Can you do it the other way? We also we always have one way that we prefer. This is my preferred way. There we go. How can you do it twice in a row without stopping? All right. See you back in the front. Other way. It's a challenge. What can we do? I think it's your turn for okay. like animal walks. Next? Yeah, so next round we're going to switch over to animal walks. Has anybody out there done animal walks before? Raise your hand if you have. We do lots of animal walks here. So animal walks are an awesome way to practice building your core strength, coordination, and balance. So what we're going to do right now, I'm going to come close to the camera and I'm going to go away from the camera and then go back towards the camera and I'll meet you back here after each time. So I'll show an animal. So people show an animal. We'll switch back and forth and you do just what we're doing. So first thing I'm going to do is bear. So I'll show you from the side. When you do bear, you start with your hands and feet on the ground and you go on opposite side. So my right hand and left foot go together. Boom, boom, boom. Just like a bear. So like I said, I'm going to start near the camera. Go away and come back. Everybody start near the camera. Go away and come back. Here we go. Bear. All right. So, Sensei, what's up next? Let's do squirrel in the snow. So, it's not really snowy anymore, but the squirrels in the snow don't want to get their belly cold. So, they're going to hop over the snow piles like that. Hands, feet, start by the camera, go away and come back to the camera. Looking good out there, guys. There you go. All right, we're already breathing hard, so we're warmed up. All right, next song we're gonna do is monkey. So monkey, I always tell this, my students that I want these to be super silent, so watch. I'm going to start with my feet down, then I'm going to switch to my hands and go sideways. And then my feet, hands, and then feet. Back again, hands, feet, hands, feet. So we're going to do this. I'm going to start near the camera and then go away. So everybody, start with your legs wide. Hands and feet, hands, feet. All right. All right, let's do kangaroo. A kangaroo hops, nice wide hops like this. So let's start nice and close to the camera, hop away from the camera, nice long jumps, and then hop back to the camera. <laughs> you have to have a big living room for this one. Yeah, there you go. Okay, this one, this next one's a little bit of a challenge for your balance. So we were going to do either duck or challenge duck. So watch this. So when I do this, I'm going to be in a squatted position and I'm going to stay low. The basic version is that I'm going to walk one leg forward. You can call this chicken. 
Chicken, chicken duck. duck. It's a bird of some sort. If your feet are all flat, it's the duck. So here now, I'm just walking and staying low. If you want the challenge version, boom, put your hands behind your back and try to stay low. Okay, so I'm going to do this from the camera on back. Here we go for duck or challenge duck, whichever you prefer. If you want to quack, you can quack. Great for your hip strength and mobility. We got some more, Sophie. What do you think? Sure. Let's do an ocean creature. We're kind of walk land creatures. Let's do crabs. So we're just going to walk sideways on our back. Start by the camera, crab all the way away from the camera, and come all the way back. There you go. Awesome. I don't know about you guys, but I am pretty darn warm, but I'm going to do one last one. Uh, this is often our kids' favorite one because it's an animal that's not actually an animal. You're going to want to make sure that you have lots of room, and I hope you vacuumed the floor before you did this. So here's what we're going to do. Log, and I'll show you a challenge log. So log, I'm going to lie on my back, hands above my head, and just roll over. That's the basic one. Challenge log is that you pick your hands and feet off the mat, and they never touch. All right, you ready to do this with me? Log that way, log this way. Don't roll into the furniture, it's very painful. Here we go, give it a try. <sighs> okay, I am thoroughly warmed up. I hope you guys are having fun out there. It's time for Tai It's time for Tai Everybody, let's stand back up, take some space again. So, I'm going to do this facing you to show them, but then I'm actually going to face away from you so we can, I can do it and you can see what I'm doing and it's going to look like your body. So, three basic Tai Sabaki to start. Let me just show you. The first one is Irimi, where I slide forward and bring my back foot. Slide forward. Good. Take a couple steps back. So let's try this together. Put one foot forward, and when you do this, you're keeping a hami, moving that hami forward, and keeping my feet in the same distance. So let's try that together. Here we go. Eating me. Eating me. Eating me. All right, now we're going to go back a couple times. One more. One foot forward. Eating me. Eating me. Eating me. Second one is going to be tenshin, where I take a step back so I can change my hami, so my front foot simply steps back. Tenshin, 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 tenshin. Oh, we almost hit the back wall, so we're going to go back to irimi, irimi, irimi. Again, tenshin, tenshin, tenshin. Irimi, 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 tenshin. Tenshi, tenshi. All right, third Taisabaki. This is the hard one. Watch me first. I'm facing forward. If I have my right foot forward, my right hand is in front, I'm going to pivot around my front foot so my back leg draws a half circle behind me. Just watch Tenkan goes like this. So I'm turning around my front foot. Let's give that a try. Everybody, one foot forward. Tenkan. 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 Tenkan, irimi, irimi, tenshi, tenshi, tenshi. All right, now I've got my other foot forward. We're going to turn the other way. Here we go. Tenkan, tenkan, irimi, irimi, tenshi, tenshi, tenkan. All right, now I'm going away from you. Irimi, irimi. Tenshi, 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 Tenkan. Challenge round, just see if you can keep up. It's getting a little faster. Itty me, itty me. Tenshi, Tenshi, Tenkan. Itty me, itty me. Tenshi, Tenkan. Itty me, Tenshi, Tenkan. Itty me, itty me. Tenshi. 
Spain Con, eating me, eating me. Oh, good. I kept Sophie since they would be the whole time. Woo! All right. Now, we're going to switch it over and do one new Thai Sabaki, which involves two of the patterns that we just did squished into one. So, if you have a Joe, if you have a staff or a stick or something like that, you're going to grab that now. So, Sophie's going to demonstrate if you don't have something to train with. If you have a staff or a stick or something like that, a Joe, go grab it now. I'm going to do that. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I've got my Joe in front of me, so I've got my left foot forward and my left hand on the Joe. I'm going to move forward and change my direction. Let me scoot back a little bit, so watch me. I've got my back hand open for this if I'm doing it with the Joe. I'm going to step, hang on. Back hand open, step, hang on. Sophie says she's going to do it imagining she's holding a Joe, so she's got her hand out there. So again, step, hang on. Step, ten con. Let's do ten more of these. I'm going to count in Japanese. If you want to count with me, go for it. Here we go. Eat, me, sam, ji, go, doku, chichi, aichi, kyu, ju. All right, lots of movement for us. You guys are doing great with this. Um, next thing we're going to move to is practicing some basic shomen cuts. So shomenuchi means a straight cut down the middle. And when we do that shomenuchi, it's going to lead us into a technique. Uh, if you have anybody at home with you, any brothers or sisters or anybody that wants to train with you, you can join with them or you can do it solo. So I'm going to show you both versions. I've got Sophie Sensei here so I can show you both of them. So if you have a partner, you'll eventually go to a partner. If you don't have a partner, just keep going. You can do it on your own. All right. So if you have a bokeh, if you have a sword or a stick or something that's short, we're going to be swinging it. If you have low ceilings, or if you have lights above you, do not break your parents' lights. They will not like it. So make sure you're going to be clear of whatever you're swinging overhead. All right. So hopefully you can see me. I have a sword here. Um, basic sword is that I'm going to have my right foot forward and my right hand in the front. My left hand on the back. My left foot to the back. So I'll show you from the side. I'm going to try to look so sensei. When I do a shaman cut, the tip never goes below my solar plexus, so it doesn't drop below my hands. So here's the bottom, and then when I raise, I don't go all the way back. I don't want to hit my head in the middle of it. So when I do this, I start low, so that the tip's about here, and then I raise to about a 45 here, and back down. So we're going to do this together. If you have a sword, you're doing what I'm doing. If you don't have a sword, you're going to do the same thing, open-handed, just like Sophie Sensei. So raise up. I always say like you're going to poke the ceiling with your sword, and then back down. Don't let the tip drop. Raise up. Back down. Raise up. Back down. We're going to do 10 of these together. If you want to count, go ahead and count out loud. Here we go. Each. Me. Some. Chi, go, doku, chichi, hachi, kyu, ju. Okay, keep your hands exactly where they are if you have a sword. If not, you're just going to switch your hobby. Hands stay where they are, switch your feet. So now I got my left foot forward and my right hand forward. So this is a cross body cut. Again, raise to the same position and cut back down. Each. Ni, san, chi, go, noku, shichi, hachi, kyu, ju. Awesome. Shake out your hands. Getting you nice and warmed up. Here's what we're going to do next. Next, that was one direction, so I'm only facing forward. Now I'm going to do it forward and to the back and back again, so just watch. I'm going to slide in with a little remi to the front. Pivot and slide to the back. Pivot, slide to the front. Pivot, slide to the back. Pivot, slide to the front. So you see Sophie Sensei is doing this, and when she does it, she's cutting with her forward hand, turning, and now she's cutting with the other hand. So she's alternating hands. If you have a sword, you just keep holding the sword in front of you. 
So here we go. We're going to do front to back. Here we go. Each turn, knee. Back to the front. Each knee. Each knee. Each knee. Two more. Each knee. And back to the front. Okay. Here's the challenge round. I'm going to try not to wax Opie Sensei with the sword. We're going to do four directions. If you're online and you haven't done this before, it might be hard to find the directions, but here's what I'm going to do. My feet are going to follow this pattern. Right foot forward, turn, slide, left foot forward. Now up to the right, right foot forward, turn, left foot forward. All right. Let's do the feet again. Join in with me if you haven't already. So right foot forward, slide forward, one. Turn to the back, two. Off to the right, three. One more, four. It's probably reversed on your camera, so just do the best you can. Now we're going to add the sword. So we're going to go forward, backward, side, side. If you have a sword, use a sword. If not, you're going to use open hand like so. We to here we go. One, two. Off your right, three, four. Let's try that again, facing the front. One, two, three, four. Try one more of those together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, awesome. Here's where we're going to switch into some stuff that goes either paired or solo or whatever you have available. So um, if you could imagine, um, this is going to be like the ukemi for ikkyo, means first teaching. If I give somebody says to my sword, um, this is a little silly. Why would you ever attack somebody who has a sword? But this is to help us practice. So watch me. If she raises and I come in and she cuts down, it go down to the mat. So watch without so since then I'm going to go in. Give up my balance and then come back. So she's raising up. I'm going to come in. She cuts down. And I come back up. So the first thing we're going to do is work on that solo ukemi. It's actually harder to do solo. Actually, so if somebody puts down the solo, put it down. It's fine. So you can see what this looks like with another person. If you want to do this, it will actually look like this. I come in. She cuts down. And I come back up. And then we switch sides. Come in. She cuts down. And I come back up. So we're going to do the solo version first. It's hard to balance, but that's part of the fun of it. So let's try some open-handed shomenuchis first. If I have my left foot forward, I'm going to be striking with my right hand with my back hand. So just watch. I'm going to raise up, step, and cut. Take a step back. Let's do that again. Raise up, step, and cut. One more together. Raise up, step, and cut. When you take your step, your back end is going to do this. You're going to touch the ground. So watch again. You're going to raise, step, cut. Where my front foot is, I'm going to put my back foot there and touch my back end down. And back down. So let's try a couple more of these. Raise, step, cut, touch the ground. All right, again. Raise, step, cut, touch the ground. Ten more on that side, then we'll switch, and then we'll come around and do some hair practices. So here we go. Each. Knee. Thumb. E. Boom. Go. No good. Chichi, doing good, guys. Hachi. Q. Do. Go. All right. If you didn't notice, we count Japanese a lot. I used to live in Japan, so that's how we do it here. All right, we're going to switch and do the other foot forward. So whatever foot you went forward, switch your feet. Hands in front of you. Let's just do the showmans. Raise up, step, and cut shomenuchi. 
Two more of those. Raise, step, cut. Again. Raise, step, cut. Here we're going to go. Take the ukemi. Raise, step, cut. Your back hand is going to touch the ground. Boom. And back up. All right, let's do 10 more of those. Oops. Each. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Not good. Chi Chi. Hai Chi. have a partner, you're going to keep going in and switching through. So we won't do this too long because it's a lot of work. So um, if you have a partner, so by Sophie Sensei, all she's going to do is stand where she is and raise and cut and raise and cut. And there's one really special concept in Aikido called awase. Like I say, I used to live in Japan, so I learned a special word, awase. I don't know if you can see this far behind. But this says I ki do. The first character I, a lot of times they translate it as harmony. So I always think of the top two brush strokes as like two rivers flowing together and making one river, right? Nature doesn't waste a lot of energy fighting, it goes together and unifies. It doesn't do this. So my job is that I'm going to do awase with my partner's shomenuchi. It basically means uh, we're gonna be doing, joining into the same movement, even though we start with two different movements. So she starts at Hongbi. I'm gonna practice my shomenuchi and we're gonna make contact with our forearms. So here she raises up. I join here and as she cuts down, I practice my kemi that we just did. Other side, I'm gonna come in shomenuchi and raise and cut. And shomenuchi and cut. Yeah? If you don't have a partner, that's okay. What you're gonna keep doing is shomenuchi. Imagine them coming down and then back up. Um, to make it a little bit more fun, see if you can challenge yourself and keep your balance. Shomenuchi, come down, and then come back up. All right? If you're by yourself, keep going by yourself. If you're with partners, so you're gonna watch Sophie Sense and I do a little bit together, try and join in with us. All right, I'll do 10, she'll do 10. Here we go. Ten, ten, ten. Ooh, one. Get ready now. Uh, one more. All right. If you haven't switched partners yet, you can switch partners if you're by yourself. Keep going. Here we go. So Sense is going to start here. Come in. Take your step. Boom. And back down. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Five, six, 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 Okay. Try new things. Awesome, we're doing well. All right. Uh, I can't actually talk to you out there, but I hope you're doing well and having fun. So that was a way of doing shomenuchi ikkyo with a feeling of awase, of joining with our partner, right? 
when we get really good at awase, we're able to attack really hard, but then move very fluidly, which is when you see the really, really good uh, instructors and teachers uh, and students take ukemi. When you watch Yamada Sensei students take ukemi, they move so well. You have to be able to attack really well and then respond. And that's part of what it's teaching you how to do. Um, we're going to still work on one more thing together. I think we'll see how much time we have left. Uh, Soku Sensei is going to lead us through doing Kokyuho. So we're going to do Kokyuho solo and in pairs so you can see either one. So Soku Sensei, take it away. Yeah, for Kokyuho, you're going to find a nice seiza and you're going to be nice and steady on the ground. You're going to imagine you're holding a book. So if you were reading a book, you would hold it like this. Then you're going to show your partner Maybe it's more like a, maybe it's two plates now. You're showing your partner what's in the book. And if you are with a partner, you will be entering and turning. But if you are just alone, all you have to do is open the book and show the book. And then you can do it again. Open the book, show the book, and down you go. So that is basically what you'll be doing alone. If you're with a partner, though, it will look like this. You'll hold your book. You'll open the book, you'll show your partner the book, and you'll turn and enter. And you'll finish nice and balanced. With your toes tucked when you finish. You'll open the book, show your partner the book, and turn and enter. So just a few pointers when you when you finish up. Don't sit like this, your partner will pull you over. When you finish up, sit nicely on top of your own center like this. Just like when you started, I guess. Okay, so let's do, we'll show you 10 of those in pairs and then we'll do 10 solo. If you have a partner, use your partners and switch in the middle. And if you don't have a partner, you can practice that awesome kokyu, right? Kokyu means breath, kokyu shape with your body. And breathe out. Okay, so it says you need to All right, if you have a partner, switch your partner so you can take a turn to the other side. Here we go. Okay, so um, that was a lot of work. I hope you got to have some fun. We're gonna bow out and I wanna talk to you a little bit more before we finish up. So everybody, we're gonna bow out and then finish up with a couple more things. Okay, so let's bow out first. If you haven't taken a nice deep breath, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, fill your belly. Let's do three breaths. Everybody breathe in through your nose. Up to your mouth. Two more. And bow. And we'll bow to each other and just say thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.